Use layout effect is a hook you've probably never even heard of, and if you have heard of it, you probably don't know when you would use it. So in this video, I'm going to explain what it does and why you would want to use it. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And today we're going to do that with use layout effect. Now, first, I want to say that use layout effect is almost identical to use effect in how you define them. So if you're unfamiliar with use effect, check out the full video I have on that in the cards and description down below. But essentially, with use effect, as you can see here in this example, we have a simple count state variable. We have a button that increments our count by one, and we're printing our count out to the screen. And our use effect says every single time our count changes, log the count out to our console. So if we click increment, you can see we're logging out the count to the console, and it's printing that out on the page. Now with use effect, what you do is you pass it a function and you pass it an array of dependencies. And every single time one of the dependencies in that array changes, it's gonna run the code in your function. And the important thing to note about use effect is that this is asynchronous. So what happens is React is going to calculate out all your DOM changes. It's going to render your DOM out to the screen. And then at some point, these use effect are going to run in the background, but they're not going to block the DOM. They happen asynchronously in the background and it'll just log it out whenever it can. Usually it's gonna be pretty quick. Now the difference between use effect and use layout effect is use layout effect is not asynchronous. Now if I change this to use layout effect and I import that and I save, you're gonna notice it looks like our application works exactly the same. You see the outputs are all exactly the same, but the main difference is when use layout effect runs. Use layout effect runs synchronously between when React calculates your DOM and when it actually paints it out to the screen. So React is going to calculate the positions of everything in the DOM, it's going to pass that to the browser, and then in between that and when the browser paints the information to the screen, all of our use layout effects are going to run, which means use layout effects are perfect when you need to actually do something based on the layout of your DOM. That's where the name layout effect comes from. So if you need to measure DOM elements, if you need to move things in the DOM that are gonna be visible to the user, you need to use a use layout effect. But use layout effect is not quite as performant since it happens synchronously instead of asynchronously, which is why you should always try to use use effect first, and then only if that doesn't work, then implement use layout effect. And this may be a little confusing on when you want to use one over the other. So I have an example in this modal example here. If we just render this modal example out real quick, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about because this is the perfect explanation of when you would want to use one over the other. So let me just expand this here. And when I click on this click here button, you can see this pop up appears. So let's look at our code. It's a little bit confusing. So I'm going to explain it the best that I can. But essentially, we have inside of here, we have a state for showing or not showing our modal, we have our pop up, which is just a ref for our modal, and we have our button itself. And then our code just has our button here. And when we click on it, it toggles our modal to show or hide it. And then we're either going to show our modal right here. And it's just a simple div that's positioned absolutely. And it says this is a pop up. Then inside of our use effect, we're saying, hey, as long as we have a pop-up and a button, run the code. So if we don't, it's going to return. Then what we're doing is we're getting the bottom of our button. So we're using this button reference and we're getting a bounding client rectangle, which means we're taking a measurement from the DOM. That's important. We're measuring the DOM. And then what we're saying is, hey, on our pop-up, make the top of this be 25 pixels below the bottom of our button. And you'll notice something really interesting when I click here. I'm going to slow this down real quickly so you can see it. As you can see, there was a moment in time where the actual pop-up froze right here below the button and then jumped down to the position where it should be. This is due to the asynchronous nature where use effect runs after the DOM has been painted. So this pop-up has been painted in place and then the code for setting the top position is actually run. You can see if I remove the pop-up setting of the top and click here, you'll notice this pop-up shows up in the same place where it initially flashed into place before when I had this position being set. And that's because by default, use effect runs after the DOM runs. So it's going to put the pop up here and then it's going to run this code that sets the position into the actual position where it should be down here. Now, if we change this to be use layout effect and we save and we click here, you're gonna notice we no longer get that flash. And that's because this use layout effect is running before the pop up shows up on the screen, which means the top position is being set and then it renders out to the screen in the correct position. So that's the main difference between use layout effect and use effect. Whenever you're manipulating the DOM in a way that the user can directly see based on measurements or other things, you need to use use layout effect. Otherwise, you may have that flash that you saw when we were using use effect, this little flash that you have right here. Otherwise, use use effect because it's going to be more performant and it's just easier to use. And that's all there is to this hook. If you're interested in learning about some of the other more advanced React hooks, I'm going to have them all linked over here. And with that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.